This is an issue that's very difficult because, um, as we know, the, uh, there's a s significant public safety concern around sex offenders, and the public is very interested in this topic. Since 1994, the Minnesota Sex Offender Treatment Program has grown to a population of close to 700 clients. They're committed because they're deemed to be dangerous to the public and in need of treatment. With locations in Moose Lake and St. Peter, the treatment facilities house those who are still deemed dangerous to the public, but who have finished their prison time. It is impermissible to incarcerate people simply because you're afraid they may do something bad in the future. Now, almost 20 years after its creation, and with only one person ever discharged from the program, the legislature is hoping to take action. I think we go through the legal process, we put them in a hole somewhere, and we shut the door, and we kind of forget about them. Newly crafted legislation would have the same standard to commit someone to a treatment center, but would create alternatives as to where that treatment center would occur. Maybe in a very secure setting, but maybe in a less secure setting, if that can be done consistent with public safety. Also, those in treatment would receive regular reviews in which the court system could decide to grant provisional discharge. We don't get to pick and choose what part of the Constitution that we want to validate based on our values and what we care about. In an effort to maintain public safety while staying true to the Constitution. In St. Paul, Zach Bavrika for KBJR 6 and Range 11. It started off with prisoners representing themselves. And I could be excused and your honor, that clerk's from the department here can answer any technical questions. For four years and um, time and time again, I'm told these are the worst. Wilstrom has a bill that would uh, charge. We make recommendations. We don't have any authority to do anything. We are these offenders. And the response was, no, we're trying to help. They, they should be sent back to the prison system. Much less criminal sense, whatever it is. I could be excused from your honor, that clerk's from the department here can answer any technical questions. For four years and um, time and time again, I'm told these are the worst. Wilstrom has a bill that would uh, charge. We make recommendations. We don't have any authority to do anything. We are these offenders. And the response was, no, we're trying to help. They, they should be sent back to the prison system, much less.